Industry Insider coming to you from Glastonbury 2014. We're here in the Silver Haze area of Glastonbury, out in the East Camp, and, uh, and joining me, Jem from Silver Haze. How are you, mate? I'm good, Ben. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for giving us your time, mate. You're no actually on the, on, the, on the clock right now. Absolutely. And, Always. Uh, it's precious time indeed, so I really appreciate it. We all know how busy all of us get out the back here. Yeah. So, mate, um, let everyone out, uh, let, let everyone out there know uh, what your role is here at Silver Haze. Uh, I'm the sort of site production manager mm -hmm. for the all the stages. So that entails working closely with the site crew um, in the build to enable all the stages to open. But mainly, it's sort of. Um, uh, in pre-production, making sure that we organise all the, the stages, the lighting, the video, the sound. Um, and I work closely with Biff, who's the artist production manager, uh, making sure that all visiting artists, additional tech is workable, fits, etc, etc. It's a big job, man. Yeah, it it's is. A it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big job. It's, sort of change, it's a, a constantly changing thing. Um, yeah, it, but it's, it, it's great, you know. It's, uh, this year's been uh, sort of better than last year in, in, in many ways. Um, the, the team are fantastic, you know. The build was sort of like a happy affair really no one threw their toys out of the pram was good um, yeah, yeah there was a real sort of like everyone's job rolled into each other there was a real crossover which is what makes these sort of things work when everyone sort of like goes outside their their role mm. and, and that's the only way these things work i think you know when you know you can't just stop and say not my that's Absolutely. not my area yeah. you, you know it, everyone it all has to sort of flow to enable it to work. Yeah, it so, absolutely uh, does. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah it's, it, communication can be very hard, so it's sort of like thinking on your feet two steps ahead all the time about what you th envisage is gonna happen if certain things doesn't, damn, things constantly change, you know. You can prepare yourself for what is an ideal build, um, but things will change, and it's sort of like trying to think about making a decision to say, okay, we'll do it that way then, but then what are the knock-on effects? Um, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. Um, yeah, but we're here now and we have all our stages open. We've got a packed field and all the stage managers and the crew are rocking and in an ideal world, we are sitting here ready to put fires out when necessary. Yeah.